I'm Cody from Alive Health and Fitness. Today I'm going to be talking about the foam roller. It's a great and expensive way to do a self massage. It reduces muscle pain, tightness, and reduces muscle imbalances. You can use it pre workout, post workout, or throughout your workout. Use it three to four times a week, every day is better. Okay, what we're going to do now is go through some major muscle groups that would benefit greatly from, uh, from rolling. We're going to start off with the rhomboids. We're going to place it roughly between your shoulder blades. We're going to bring our hands into the air, place them together. We're going to push it through their heels and just gently roll forwards about three to four inches across the upper back. You don't want to go too low on the back. You want to go nice and slow. If you find any tender spots, just hold the foam roller in that spot and that'll help release it. You're going to instantly find a little bit of tension between the foam roller and the muscles. Just relax, breathe into the muscles and allow it to settle. Okay, next part is the lat muscle. So chances are you sit at the desk all day, helping loosen up the lats will allow those shoulders to pull back into sockets rather than sitting forwards. What you want to do is simply place a foam roller underneath the lat, so you're going to roll forwards and back. Don't be too aggressive, just gently sinking through the foam roller. Don't hold the breath again, and be careful not to put too much pressure onto the ribs. Okay, next one, we actually work on the actual glutes. So what we can do this one here is simply place one leg over the top of the opposite and just gently push through, turning to the side to work into the minimus, minimus and maximus or glutes. What you want to do is try different angle positions just to variate the load onto the actual muscles. Okay, and finally what we're going to do is the bottom half of the leg, the calf muscles. What we're going to do is place one leg over the top of the opposite. So it adds extra pressure to the muscle, simply going to roll down, pushing through the hands. What you want to do is don't roll too far down onto the back of the knee. Come close to the joints, but not actually directly over them. If you find areas of pain on the foam roller, it's normally from areas of imbalance. If you'd like to know more about this, come see me or any other live trainer to find out more. I'm Cody from Alive Health and Fitness. Come visit us in the club or check us out at the website.